A woman. A woman is a daughter. A woman is a wife. A woman is a mother. But do we forget something? That a woman is also a woman. She is herself. A woman's whole life is a history of affections. The heart is her world. The roles that life gave her to play demands of her both night and day. A word of depth is what she needs, not just a man to buy her feeds. She wants some way to be a friend, but lust destroys this in the end. Another cool and breezy morning in Bangalore. Just like any other day, people have dreams. Some may come true, some may come crashing down. Let's see another regular day of Lakshama, an ordinary yet different woman. From dawn to the dusk, she strives how to be happy with whatever she has. I wake up every day at 4 a.m. I have to fill water. I have the habit of going to the temple every day. I enjoy cooking and feeding my sister's kids. I also clean my house. And whenever I get little time, I talk to my sister and her kids. My parents had 11 children and I was the ninth child. We were really poor. None of my siblings and I were educated. I got married when I was 16 years old and my in-laws house was 50 kilometers away from my parents house. My in-laws used to hit me. My husband was also not that supportive. After 15 years of a marriage due to my husband's friends, he started smoking and drinking. He used to smoke and drink entire night. He stopped working also and he used to spend my salary for purchasing alcohol and cigarettes. I have three children, a 22-year-old boy, a 19-year-old boy and 17-year-old girl. The two boys are not working anywhere nor they are educated. I made a firm decision of educating my daughter in whatever circumstances. Last year she passed her 10th standard and that was happiest day of my life. Two years back my husband died of kidney failure. Sometimes I do miss him, but then I can't afford to be weak. I have to be strong to take care of my children, my family. Lakshma is an inspiration for all the women. She also enjoys doing gardening. She loves spending hours in the garden. Since the time she was only 11 years old, she used to work. And even now she works with the same passion and energy. I love kids. On Sundays, I teach the local kids of my area, whatever I know. I enjoy teaching them as I know the importance of education. I am also a helper and ran international school. I take care of the Montessori kids and also serve tea and coffee to the school staff. I have to travel three hours every day to and fro to the school. I am very happy working there. It is like a second home for me. I'm very proud of Lakshma and I'm happy to see where she is right now. For everything you have missed, you have gained something else. And for everything you gain, you lose something else. The doors we open and close each day decides the lives we live. I thank God for everything He gave me. I would say, enjoy each moment, be content, be happy. Because one day your life will flash before your eyes. Make sure it's worth watching. This is who we call a real woman. Ordinary yet so different. In fact, each woman is different. A woman cannot do anything she ought to do. Even today, she has to prove what she can do before she does it. Prate of woman's right, woman's mission, woman's function. We believe that they cannot do anything without the support of others, of men. But Lakshma has proved this wrong, or say completely wrong. Her determination, her hard work, desire to be happy as well as content is what she taught us. I would like to repeat myself again. A woman is a daughter, we remember. She has to obey her parents. A woman is a wife, we remember. She has to be with her husband in everything. 
A woman is a mother, we remember. She has to live for her child. A woman is a woman, we forget. If today we look at the condition of any woman, can we really say that we respect her in its real sense? We just have to remember this, and definitely, she will get her deserving place, that of herself, that of a woman.